Hey y'all, we out here with Kala and she came to GeekCon, but what I didn't tell y'all was that she came to the GeekCon with her plug, Miss Nunez, you know what I'm saying? Nunez, she give her all that she need, you know what I'm saying? She she teach herself a Dorotian, you know what I'm saying? It's a little language barrier. She be like, yo, can you teach me that? She taught her how to do the dance, you know what I'm saying? The rumba sim. Um, she teaches her a lot, but she also provides her with what she need, which you know what I'm saying, that cocaine, you know what I'm saying? So things can get a bit hectic, but she knows that like they cool at least. Um she's like, it's been so long since I've seen you. I need some more, which is already a problem because she kind of ain't gonna lie she kind of you know um spent a lot of money on it and she really is about to sit here and blow mm -hmm. all of the funds on that and Asia. asia don't care because asia's like listen do what you gotta do <laughs> I'm here for the convention. I'm here for GeekCon. She look, she said, I'm here for GeekCon. And she's like, this man, I'm here to get geeked up. I don't, I don't really care about this convention. It's cute. Even though you literally are like the hacker chick, you actually need to get your ass in hackathon and stop playing. She's like, do I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that jumpsuit is nice. But these, these um werewolves be out here playing participate in hackathon that's what you need to be doing who just took off let's see how this hackathon goes she talking about need to sleep girl you're not even tired like that who is she flirt wait a minute who is flirting with you christopher you really gonna do this ashy business to yourself why would you do that i should you know get trying to flirt with that ashy ashy man a hackathon wait what kala hello hackathon has come to an end first prize goes to tessa oh tessa smoked her girl you better go get to know tessa did your ship land back did her ship ever come back because it's definitely giving it didn't come back um notable newcomer what place did she get I feel like, did she get second place? You need to come see what's going on on Simurf and introduce yourself to Tessa too. Nominated with the Plum Bell Prize. Check out the, what? The Plum Bell Prize, what's that? Why is she so bored? She's so sad. It's like, she probably been winning these for years and Ain't nothing change, ain't nothing different. Ain't nobody really giving her nothing. She's just like, yeah, so I won again. Okay, who cares? But let me see what that, that first impression looked like. Let's see how they feel. Crush! Bitch, they attracted to each other? Stop playing. Stop playing. The last time I checked, Tessa don't really have no shorty. It's a couple of thotty two hotties around the neighborhood that's interested in Tessa, but I don't think anybody bit. So that's why, because Tessa actually is from around the way. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Interesting Sim, and they both have crushes on each other and good compatibility. I don't know, man. That might turn into something. That might give the nurse, you know what I'm saying? But that I didn't expect to see. I don't think I've ever seen that. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Have you ever seen a Sim meet another Sim and it straight up says that they just have a crush on each other like that? on each other like a mutual crush not one sim got a crush and the other sim find that sim repulsive but like genuinely both of them have a crush on each other oh, i've never oh, seen that shit. so that's that's interesting yeah tessa tired she's like girl i'm leaving 
um and this festival is about to end so we're about to leave too i'm gonna send erica on her way i just wanted to ring you and say i'm having the best day ever i i'm good for you i don't what does that have to do with the price of tea in china like oh okay kipluna yeah like I think everybody's starting to leave, but I do want her to introduce herself to this Naomi chick. Um, and try to enter, you know, like I'm saying, they got to get themselves out there and introduce themselves to the folks. Especially if they trying to climb that Hollywood ladder. You need to know what's going on. So we're back at the house and they just realized the money is gone and they see Kyla sniffing around and they, you know what I'm saying? She peed. Cassandra's like, no, you didn't do this again. She let it go the last time. She was like, okay, you spent a couple thousand dollars on Coke, whatever. But you spent over $5,000 on cocaine. Seriously? That's what you decided to do. So she's like super mad. She's yelling at her. Like, how could you? Why would you do this? Like, we needed that money to decorate. They managed to get a couple of things for the house, but you know, they got to change wallpaper. And so like, she's doing it. Oh, Jesus. Not you slapping her. Wait a minute. You just going to snatch her damn wit. Oh my God. Why would you snap? Girl, you going to let her snatch her wig like that? Kala. Oh no, she's scared, bold, and afraid. All right, girl, just go ahead. I right, look, get you some food. She don't even seem like she want to fight back. Now she snatched her up and went to sleep. Wow. Okay. Now, for those of y'all that know, Erica is very much into like fashion. She wants to be like a fashion influencer, and she wants to do everything and all things fashion and stuff like that. She's She's very much into like looking good, keeping her body tight. You know what I'm saying? That's her thing. And she still doesn't really feel like this acting thing is going to like, I don't know. She, she knows she's going to make some, some decent bread, but she's wondering if like, this is the thing for her. She figures it would help her with what she wants to do. Um, Okay. Hey, Adriana, the producer, turn up. Get into hair and makeup. You know, all her friends and family told her that this is the route that she should take if she wants to follow her dreams. So she's still trying to see how she feels about it. So far, she's having fun. This is her first, first gig. Because remember, she didn't get approved for the first gig. So this is her first gig. And this is so far, it's all right. We'll see. You're doing another Salty Suds commercial. I don't know what it is. Okay, with the Juvia's place? She said, you need makeup for black women's skin? I got you, B. I got you, shorty. I think she got it right. Okay. It feels really good to be able to come back to some packs and like play. And play with a fresh mind and a clear eye. If that makes sense. I think you, you might have a friend in her, but unfortunately, you know, this ain't, this ain't toy story. Ain't no, you got a friend. No, let's go. 
You got you got shit to do. Get 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 your little ball head. Look, ball head ho shit. Let's go. All right, I I or it already looks a bit more promising. Mm-hmm. Neep No, that yibs was so monotone. Yibs. Girl, you gotta put your back into it. That yibs was not it. That yibs was like stressing me out. But we're gonna keep it risky for these scenes, girl. We're gonna keep it risky. Gotta get you this money. She talking about ARG. Yob to foob. Yo, do you know how talented you have to be to record voice lines in Simlish and be able to emulate terrible acting in Simlish? Do you know how good you have to be to be able to portray something like that in another language like that, in a made up language? Damn, not them saying cut already. Well, according to her body language, she appears to have done pretty well. Um, that's a wrap. I see Kala got her hair back, but Tessa invited her to the crib. The last time I checked, I... She gonna go to her crib? But yeah, apparently she threw on one of her little replacement wigs, as y'all can see. Cause you know what I'm saying? Kala got her wig snatched. She got, you know what I'm saying? Lightly, slightly abused earlier, but nobody told her to sell everybody's money. You know what I'm saying? Not sell everybody, but like nobody told her to take the house money and buy that white girl. So like now you, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You get what you get. But she over here talking to Shorty. What is this? Um, this their house or whatever. <laughs> She over here talking to Tessa. Oh, her and Tessa is pretty chummy. Let me find out Tessa trying to pull up. Not our. Okay, yeah, things seem to be heading off pretty well. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Hello? And you just gonna let her kiss you on your neck? Oh my God. Kalani. Oh, girl. That's how you introduce yourself to people? You scaring the animals. Don't do this. You don't even need to... You know what? They gonna judge the hell out of you. I mean, I know this is Hollywood, but you don't need to do all that. You gotta relax. Remember past parties? Do party tricks. Girl, what? Yo, y'all got some... Y'all got some friends that be doing this and just hitting moves, getting high and just hitting moves. What the hell was that robot? Eek, right? New personality trait. A true insider. Oh, she tapped in? Okay, sis. Reach a maximum number of times she could embrace a self-discovery. Yo, sis is tapped in. Not the code did it. Oh my God. What's she cooking? I want some. That look like asparagus. I have grown to love asparagus. Is there a vegetable that y'all hated growing up and now as an adult, you love it? I think for me, it's asparagus. I will always hate Brussels sprouts, but asparagus has become my best friend with some garlic butter and some salt. Baked to perfection. What the hell is this cat talk, bro? You good? You, yeah, you give Big Max energy. What do you mean? Is that mashed potatoes? Can I have some? So she put, wait a minute oh hello i thought she didn't have no lovers oh my god are they just freaky like that in this house because the way uh let's say lie not lie the way kalani greeted her was really freaky what are you uncomfortable about the the coke is coming down the best image from repair remembering past parties oh she is wild flirty rochelle on the be around omar is giving perceived as unattractive she think rochelle is unattractive damn 
It's like she's nice, but she's not cute. Damn. Child of the ocean. Child of the ocean. Oh, it's a Zamba. Now she calling you ugly and freaky. I wish Rochelle would kind of get out of her face though while she's trying to chat with Tessa and and Lily over there or Fifi or Fufu or somebody. This nigga complaining because they want some a litter box, but this ain't our house. So they gonna have to litter wherever that's their business. Y'all just gonna have miscellaneous cat wait, why she hugging on? Wait a minute. Rochelle. Rochelle, what are you doing, sis? So you just gonna get right in the middle of the Rochelle would be somebody that would get an eye jammy. I'm telling you right now, this one right here, absolutely cruising for a bruising, pal. Bust on a damn head. Cause exactly why are you in the way like this when you see they trying to converse? She got dead in the middle of them. And just got in the way of the conversation. Like, yeah, so anyway, child. Aga Aga. Look, you messing up her Aga Aga and everything. So they supposed to talk around you. They supposed to talk over you. Exactly. Explain the Aga Aga to me. And how that's supposed to wait, what where y'all going? Have sex? Wait, what? So Carla was out here, you know what I'm saying? She she went and got intimate. You know what I'm saying? She got intimate with Tessa in the bathroom. It was hilarious because Tessa's like housemates just kept walking in and using the bathroom around them like they didn't even care. Tessa's sister even came in the bathroom, used the toilet, washed her hands, walked out, and then came back in and was like, oh, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking. And then like she cheered for them and then she left. It was hilarious. So she got into, I hate that that's her first time meeting her sister. She never properly met her sister, but they decided they wanted to get intimate. You know what I'm saying? They partook in the devil's lettuce and they got it popping. But the problem is now they don't have no money and they need money to like make the space theirs, right? They was able to get some bread from Erica's um, YouTube, uh, what you call it, YouTube royalties. As y'all can see, she's over here doing her thing and she puts out YouTube videos. They're pulling in like 1,600, 15 to 1,600 a day off of her YouTube royalties. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Money is a bit shaky around here and they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do for money because the bills are getting higher and higher. As of right now, their bills are like 3,800. Like it's super high. She got off a of tech in, um, making music. So she's finna do that making music, but now we need a guitar because if we don't get a guitar, she's not gonna be able to nail that, you know? Have her, um, she's gonna light a little bit of sage. Y'all out here playing. What's she over here doing her little fashion looks? She's showing these yibs. She a fashion killer. She's a, like Wala Funabe. Here's my gym look. Here's my popping that coochie look. Look, she, she, she be on her, she be on her square. I'm not gonna lie. She's definitely saved the house. Um, where Kala fucked up at because Kala really spent all the bread on coke in like a coked out days and had the nerve to be talking about oh gal Nairobi like girl what Cassandra couldn't take it Cassandra snatched her wig I wonder if she still fell away towards Cassandra because that literally did just happen like yesterday um open profile let's see if there's like a good oh there's no grudge Perceived as basic looking movie lover, diva self assured movie. Yeah, she uh, she don't seem to be harboring any weight. Argue about social media. Who's trying to argue? Well, she was gonna argue, and then she said, "Nah, I ain't arguing with you." I want to know. I'm curious to see how long it's gonna take for her to make a mobile app, though. Let her get this. Damn, she she finna do this salty suds. Like they really, their only options is really just salty suds. The the pickings are slim out here. Whose video is this, Cassie? Wow. And it's wild because this is the heifer in the household that wanted to be. She wants to be all of that in a bag of chips. You ain't even put out your YouTube video. 
you out here sitting on a YouTube video for weeks. Meanwhile, old girl over here don't put out like five. How many videos she don't put out? She don't put out like five videos. She over here rendering production level four, produce more tracks, additional remix options on the. Oh my God. Hype video, reply to comments, promote old videos, study trends. She, she ain't playing out here. Adjust lights, AZ nightlife, warm sunrise. Okay. Let's make them cool and cloudy. Stargaze with Tessa. Oh, oh, she trying to get into it with your girl. Kala hacked the National Sim Security Agency and was able to acquire 355 from their accounts. Oh, okay. I mean, for the National Sim Security Agency, I do feel like you could have got a little bit more than that, but that's cool too. That's cool. That's cool. Not her stopping by the house after they got intimate. And I still got to clean up her pictures because she was selling all her pictures. Lord have mercy. We still got picture cleaning to do. What? Yeah. Not you over here trying to. She said that pussy good is to die for. I'm screaming. And y'all got laundry on the floor. They haven't set up a washer and dryer in here. They might have enough money for a washer and dryer, though. Between them, they've been in here selling pictures and recording Sim 2 videos and all of that. So maybe we might be able to make the bills after all. And another thing that I didn't realize is that when the royalties come in, they get royalties from the commercial. Oh, she got a Starlight nomination. Oh, yeah. Now they definitely got to go to the award show this weekend. But look at Erica's royalties, y'all. Look at these royalties. She got royalties from her music videos and or not her music videos from her YouTube videos and her commercials. So I think once everybody else gets on this square, they'd be OK. But you know, Erica is definitely carrying the house right now. Um, I don't know how to feel about that because Erica literally was the last person to move in. So it's like, damn, how she moving last? Get all these videos out, get all this stuff done. And y'all still over here mulling around in y'all head. You know what I'm saying? This one messing with, you know what I'm saying? Dabbling in unsavory things. This one over here is, I just feel like Cassandra's bullshit and I'm not going to lie to y'all. She, she says she want it. She says she want that, you know, she wants to be that girl, that chick, that bitch, but she's not really doing what she's supposed to do. Pleasant conversation, pleasant conversation, and then all of these positive uh, oh, yeah. sentiments. <laughs> Tessa's an Aquarius. Okay, finally receiving a gift from Tessa. She was in canned, closer from happy memories, and she's flirty. Damn, just her being around her got her flirty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, asked to take a cute selfie. I don't know if I've seen that interaction in a while. Let me see. Oh, she says, sure. Okay. Physical intimacy. Solo woohoo. Solo woohoo together. Solo woohoo. What? The hell is that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You done yibs her nurse. Was that electricity between y'all? Uh-uh. This is totes adorbs. My heart. Too cute. Too cute. Too cute. I might have to go on a little date. I think they're going to go on a little date, y'all. No, you over here getting all intimate, but you actually do need to ask her. What is her opinion on exclusive relationships? Because if there's a rift there, I'm open minded 
if the vibe is right i'm willing to try any sort of relationship okay i guess let's see what's going on in kala's head because kala is indifferent to being romantically exclusive she's open-minded and flexible okay so they should be all right what does erica want what erica's over here trying to talk to tessa awkward encounter <laughs> not erica over here being nosy Mm -mm. and i want to know what's awkward about this encounter uh-oh things have become somewhat tense try telling a joke or chatting with another sim look she ain't giving up on this conversation also let me see is cassandra gonna wake up because like neeb neeb like yeah get up we want to see what your likes and your wants clean something become confident oh my has she even formally introduced herself to tessa uh we could try a cheerful introduction this girl hell this girl wild horny bro i need her to put her coochie parts on ice okay i see a negative first impression what you mean, Dag Dag? In Dreamland, Bubble of Imagination. Oh, wait. Oh, what the hell? What is this hug? What a way to greet somebody. Yizims. Yizims. Oh, so she's Tessa's leaving? Okay. Tessa's going home. Uh, her little walk always sends me. But, like, what was that greeting, my guy? Like, what was that greeting, my girl? Like, what are you doing? Oh, her re her station messed up. And then this one over here repairing the TV. The girl done electrocuted herself and started a fire literally an hour before their auditions. What are you doing? So they literally just all went to the freaking casting thing while their house is on fire. They didn't even call the fire department. Everybody just went to the casting. They went to the audition with the house of fucking Blaze. Like, what is this? $60 as an insurance payment. That's all we could get. Our TV is destroyed and need replacing. The TV, $300, but you giving me 60? This is why I believe in lawsuits. Okay, so they're starting to come home now. I can't believe she went to that audition with her coochie parts out. She passed the audition. Shout outs to her. Work on your guitar skill. Free some ice in case you have to ice down bruises caused by angry bulls. Sing song retire. Oh, okay. I thought this said retires the guitar skill we mean requires lord i can't read all right what you got okay she passed the audition even though she went to that audition with her coochie out um eat your garden salad and do your practice and as far as this heifer you come home you just call repairman man 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 you will not touch a thing in this house i want to know what what burnt here my other rug oh my god the rug it burnt Please don't put no turn around and die music on. She be in here listening to full metal. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, kill everybody, let's die. Like, she be in here on some, like, on some real deep grunge turn around. And yeah, it'd be some wild turn around and die. Okay, so Kala passed her audition too. She is so stressed out. She came immediately home and went straight to the bathroom. So this episode has been one hell of a roller coaster. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Is Kala gonna get it together? Is Erica gonna end up carrying the household? Is she eventually going to get upset about it? Even though right now she doesn't really seem to care. She's just excited that her content is doing good, that she's doing good with what she's doing. But will she eventually feel some type of way? Will Cassandra really step into herself and stop playing around, you know? Um, find out next time. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. It's, it's looking wild. But yeah, stay tuned. Bye, y'all.